So that's the plinth cast there in concrete reinforced ready for the rocket stove. I put the it's actually the lid of the barrel there where and I'll locate the barrel onto that and I was around at my neighbours having a beer the other day and noticed in his garden this thing. The base of a chimney. It's got ceramic pipe inside with fireproof wool around it and it's obviously going to be, well, nearly perfect. It's a little bit tall so I've just drawn a line on here and time to bring out the big gun see how this thing cuts. I'm going to shorten it down. Um, I'm not sure how this is the fact that this is a round pipe is going to affect the rocket stove but well we'll find out there's a little bit of a, a gradient on this bottom pipe but what I'll do is when I do the fire bricks from here I'll have the fire brick sitting on the side and I'll fill that in to get that straight and fill that in as well so we've got a nice sharp turn to create some turbulence but I'll get this thing cut down a bit. Okay, not perfect, but as I thought might happen, the line I was cutting was only um, four centimeters above this seam, and as it all came off, it just broke down, and so I cut down to this to the to the seam itself. I'm gonna have to cut these off. And now I am about four centimeters too short. So most likely I will cut some pieces of stone, some of those bricks over there, in half so I get four centimeters and put blocks underneath the bottom. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'll just cut these off and move this into place and then then I'll have an exact measurement of the, the height once it's sitting on that on the lid of the barrel in there and then I'll know whether to put blocks underneath it or to build on four centimeters of concrete onto the top of here. Well despite measuring this thing several times I've completely screwed up with the measurements. As you can see it's too, way too big. So, I could just discard this thing, or I think what I'll probably do is try cutting these corners off. Not going to have a terrible amount of room in any case, but if I cut that back quite a lot, almost to the reinforcing bar, then maybe I can get this thing to work. I don't know if it's wise, maybe I should just cut my losses and build the central pipe out of fire bricks, but well, I've got this thing, didn't cost me anything, so I think I'm probably going to try and I'll have a go at modifying it and see if I can get this thing to work. So I got that cut down and so we got a gap all the way around. It's not a big gap. I have no idea how that's going to affect the how the rocket stove works. In fact there's a lot of question marks here. I'm also taking the exhaust pipe from the side here instead of from the back, so I don't know how that's going to affect it. And now because there's so many question marks, I think what I'm going to try and do is retain the possibility of lifting the oil drum off. 
I think the way that I'll do that is this joint here, I'll actually cut a piece from a second barrel and make the joint into that into that piece and weld that piece in place here. Um, so that and then the, the corresponding piece will be cut out of the barrel that I'm going to be using. Uh, if that makes any sense, but it means that I would then be able to lift the whole barrel off. And while I fill in everywhere around these pipes with this fine sand mixed with big stones. Immediately around the barrel, I'll actually fill in just with stones so I can lift them out. Of course, a question mark is the seal around this edge. I may have some problems with smoke coming out, but I'm going to try it just sitting it on. And because I've got the lid in there, it does seal reasonably well. We'll see if it seals well enough. Another question mark is the gap now between the top of this central pillar and the top of the barrel which is now only about three centimeters I don't know if that's going to be enough so it's all going to be very interesting to see if I can get this thing working one other option would be to actually lose these blocks and just use the ceramic pipe with the insulation around it and I'll retain that as an option if it doesn't work. But uh, I'm picking up the fire bricks tomorrow to build the rest of the J tube. I'll be blocking off the top part of this to get a square hole coming forward. Uh, I'm, still, I'm now a little bit worried, even so, about what the level of the feed tube is going to be. I want it to come up to floor level. I think it's going to be close. I may be just a little bit above floor level. Okay, so I'll continue this tomorrow when I get those fire bricks. So I guess it's kind of a J tube. I wish now that I had just cut these bricks. I put them in that way up because the height was right, but I should have just cut them off. But at that point, I hadn't actually noticed how easy they were to cut. I thought they were going to be difficult. Anyway, that's put together now. I'm going to try lighting a bit of paper and a few sticks in there just to see if, there's, if we're getting any kind of any kind of anything. And straight away, yes. We've got the fire going horizontally, as we should do. There's smoke coming out here. So, very happy with that. So, next I'll cut the barrel and put it on there, and then I'll try again, see if we still get that. Still get that draw, the horizontal draw. Excellent. Seems that there really is a knack to getting this thing lit, but once it's lit, then then it goes quite with a little bit of smoke coming from this seam here. I need to put some more firewall in. I've got the pipe now. We're now at seven, eight, nine, ten, about eleven meters. I still need a little bit more pipe, but. There we go, I'm going to let it heat up a bit, even though 
I should maybe leave it for a day or two before I really heat it up, but I'm going to heat it up reasonably much just now, see if, as it builds up temperature, if we get less smoke coming out. So you can see that's really got a very good draw on that now. I'm still trying to work out how it affects. Yeah. The mouth of this is a little bit too big. You don't get it just right. Okay, but looking good.